Welcome to Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School, where we explore all kinds of things, stories about quilting, tools, field trips, maybe some famous quilters stop by, and of course, a little bit of copyright thrown in just for fun. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard. I'm a law professor at Tulane University Law School, and I just want a quilt. Okay, so Todd Purcell of Superior Thread joins us. It's a, he is going to teach me about thread. Now, we have a video component of it, and we'll put it up soon. We're going to see how it goes with just the audio, um, but it's weird because it's just audio. So um, he teaches me about thread. That's what he does. He's from Superior Thread, and he's teaching me all about thread. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. We're good. All right, cool. Um... Hi, <laughs> we did it. We can hear you and see you, and it's remarkable. <laughs> Good. Good, success. Okay. You sent me a bunch of stuff. I've been playing with some of it. Some of it, I don't understand it. So I figure what we're going to do today, especially since we have the video, is I'm going to hold something up, and then you're going to tell me about it. Does that sound like a good plan? And then if you're cool with it, I'm going to post it so that other people can figure understand um, all the fancy things you have, <laughs> which is like thread and needles. Perfect. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so we're going to start with um, the bobbin. So you, this is what you sent me. This, let's see, you can see. You sent me this, which when you do it, it's backwards, but it's um, super bobs. And you sent me this, and um, it was for, um, I have a Juki. So you have a little thing online that tells you which ones go with which machines, which is super awesome. What's the website for that? Yeah. Prewoundbobbins.com. Pre Oh, and you're... Does it tell me who you are? I know who you are, but tell me who you are and where you're calling from today. <laughs> because like later we'll be uh, like, who is this person? Hey, what's happening? Uh, okay. I'm Todd Purcell uh, from Superior Threads. Awesome. And you're okay with us recording it and putting it up online? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. All right, so this this changed my life. Um, I tried it. I didn't think it was that big a deal. So the way, and I actually have talked to people about this since then on, on some interviews. So a lot of us sew until the bobbin runs out. That's kind of what you do. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm just going to go get a drink or whatever or some food. Um, the bobbin takes a long time to run out. <laughs> so, yeah. so yeah, it was kind of remarkable. I was sewing for a lot longer. Um, it was really fun, but it made me laugh because I thought I cannot measure my sewing time based on the bobbin running out anymore because it takes a really that's, long that's time. That's right. Yeah. You need to get an indicator. Exactly, exactly. So, um, so yeah, these are cool. These are really great. Um, so tell me why, besides the fact that it makes you so long and you, you don't have breaks, tell me more about, and I'm going to make it so you can see, see there's the thread. Um, tell me more about these. Great. So pre wound bobbins in general, we like pre wound bobbins, namely for the reason which you stated, which there's more thread that's on it. When you're self-winding your own bobbins, you're using your home sewing machine. Most home sewing machines share the motor, the same motor which is driving your needle to go up and down and your feet dog, kind of, that motor is shared when you're winding your bobbin. Some of the more expensive machines have a separate step motor, and, yeah. and that's really important because the speed and the consistency at which it's driving, you're, you're spinning your bobbin while it's being wound, that's how tight of a twist you're going to get when you're winding your thread. So most home machines, when you're winding it, like take a, the standard 50 weight sewing thread or quilting thread, uh, you're going to get 30 yards, maybe. Yeah, and this and, is... and, 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 and that's what you easy. said. You're using. Yeah. Yeah, and so and so we're able to put a lot of yardage on it because we're using very specialty machines, which are uh, very high torque, and it's made to put as much thread much thread capacity as you can probably wind on a bobbin. So some home machines you get 30 yards, but when you use the pre-run, you get 80 yards. I mean, that's, that's, it's a huge increase. Yeah, that's huge. It's like the, almost double, right? So like that's why yeah. the time yeah, yeah. doubled because I was like, whoa, like I've been sewing for so long and the bobbin is, I and now I'm like, I come back and it's different. So my feeling is like I sew until I can't sew anymore and I'm too tired. But when I come back, the bobbin is already to go because it still has bobbin thread. So that's, it's my yeah. whole life isn't around the bobbin anymore, which is pretty interesting. And then you just pop in another one. The other thing is um, the kitten really likes the empty bobbins. So the bobbin thing, yeah. so have a new kitten. So that's that's an extra bonus with the pre-worn, the Good. very pro-kitten 
Um, so yeah, so it's masterpiece. So tell us what masterpiece. That's trademarked. You put a trademark on that, so that means that it's protected. Yeah. Um, you did registration of that. Tell us what masterpiece is, and then we'll go into the next question. So it's we're going to go through either, all these words. If you're, I'm so going to make you're going. It's a lesson today. So masterpiece, fifty weight, two ply, Egyptian grown, extra long staple cotton. You talked a little bit about this, and people really loved. Loved hearing about it. So I thought we'd go through each of the words on this so that we understand what this means when we pick up something like this. So this is what you, it's going to be backwards. So it's kind of stupid, but but that's a, that's what I'm looking at at the back. So uh, great. So yeah, you, you said that in one breath. That's that's pretty good. That's yeah. a lot of words to fill in. Yeah. So masterpiece. So, what is masterpiece? Masterpiece is a brand name. That's the name of our thread line for a fifty weight two ply extra long staple Egyptian grown cotton thread. So now let's break that down. What does all that mean? That's, that's a lot of, that's we're using a lot of uh, fancy words here. Yeah. So 50, 50 weight. Yes. That's the, it's really become a, an Americanized way of how to determine thread thickness, thread right. diameter. All right. So let's um, pull this up again for people. So it's like this, it's how, how wide or how like this part of it, right? How much, how, t- how, how, that's how right. thick it is? Okay. How thick it is, how thin it is, the diameter. Right. Yeah, that's the that's, that's a defining term which we're using. Right. And there's, so the way that we are classifying threads, this isn't just a superior thread. This is pretty much every thread company who's producing threads for quilting and crafting. Yeah. Um, weight has become the term that we use in America, but it's not, it's not scientific. Yeah. But it's the way that we determine and what we classify things. 50 weight, that's the weight that we recommend when it comes to piecing and sewing. It's thin enough, so that means it's going to be fine enough. It's not going to add bulk at your seams. Yeah. Which is which is really important, especially when you're piecing your quilt together. You don't want, when you're pressing or ironing, you don't want a little hump at your seams right. because you're using a thick thread. So 50 was... weight is important for that. Yeah. I was looking at the other ones you and, sent us. You sent us, we'll get to it, but you did 60 weight. So there was yep. one that's, that's one, this one, you can see kind of, it is thinner, right? right. And the, the two-ply designation, yeah, so you can get that comparison. Yeah. So the two-ply on, on the Super Bob's Cotton, yeah. the, the two-ply means that there, there's two strands that are taken and then twisted together, and that's twisted what creates together. that final thread. And that makes it stronger by having it two-ply? Uh, generally speaking, most sewing and quilting threads are at minimum of a two ply. Yeah. You can get a three, you can get a three ply thread and there is a correlation between strength and the number of plies. Um, so yeah. it definitely has an impact, but Got it. for the super Bob's, for the super Bob's cotton, we chose a two ply, uh, specifically so that we can maintain a thinner, uh, profile on it. Yeah. And it's in the bobbin and it doesn't matter so much in the bottom, like the top thread, the thread has to travel a really long distance to get to your needle. Yeah. The so strength matters more for top thread, like, but a bottom thread, the distance is, I don't know, half an inch, yeah. three eighths of an inch. It doesn't have to travel that far. So strength really isn't that determining of a factor when it comes to a bobbin thread. And in terms of, so you sent a bunch of white, does it matter in terms of, let's see, I think you might be frozen. Let's just see. Or, okay, let's see if you come back. I can hear you. Oh, you can... yeah. There you go. I can see you now. Okay, cool. Maybe you'll come back. You're a little bit frozen at the moment, but that's okay. Um, so with bobbins, do you encourage people to get matching? Like, what's the benefit of, like, white bobbins? Like, are you sewing with white on the top? Or are you buying different colored bobbins for different projects? We So preferably, we recommend using the same color top and bottom. Yeah. Um, it doesn't mean you have to use the same thread top and bottom, but we like the same color. And that's the, the, the reason behind that is <clears throat> probably 99% of the time. Okay, go for it. All right. So I'm so, gonna, I'll, I'm, okay, so we're going so um, to just pause for one second. So we were talking about thread to, let's, before then we got obsessed with the video. So. You're saying matching thread bop, doesn't have to be the same thread, but the same color is ideal. And are you? Do you encourage people to, to or do you not care? Maybe you don't care. Um, matching the top or whatever you want on the top, and not worrying about the bottom 
as much. The back, the top versus the back. So many quilters, so many quilters now are creating more of the art quilt, and they like. I guess there's there's uh, there's different methodologies. We like same color on top and bottom because like 99% of the time we're not spending enough time dialing tension to be exact. And when you're using the same color or close enough color top and bottom from the, when you're looking at a quilt, you, you can't tell the difference of like, Oh, your tension's wrong because I can see your bobbin thread that's coming up. So, in the, so the back can be a different color than the fabric. And then you choose whatever you really want on the front. That's what people basically do now. Right. That's most most part. Yep, yeah. that's correct. Okay, cool. All right, so you sent me. So the bobbins were cool, and we talked about it before that the Egyptian grown extra long staple cotton thread. I've learned this is my quiz. Um, makes it stronger, and it's better. And you work really hard to find that cotton, and that's why your thread doesn't break, and that's as much or very little. And that's why you get really really high reviews when you go out there of like which cotton, which threads to use. Is because of you use Egyptian cotton. Is that right? Yeah, it's a great summary. Ah, see? I can take tests. I can give them and take Yeah, it's a good thing you can't see the video. I'm blushing right now. I'm a little <laughs> flattered. Hey, where's the video? Why is it just me? Like, that's ridiculous. All right, so why? So you sent us this one. You see this one? The bottom. Yep. The bottom the line. The bottom line. How is the bottom line different from Masterpiece? The biggest difference, bottom line, is a polyester fiber and masterpiece is made out of cotton so when That's, why would you choose one over the other we like piecing our quilts with cotton thread cotton has a little bit more of a grab to it because of the, the natural fibers in it um we are also cotton has a much higher heat tolerance than polyester does yeah but it's definitely not common but it has happened you're pressing your seams and you and say you've done everything with polyester and you have the iron on and then you take mm -hmm. a phone call and you're track you're talking and you're like, Oh wow, I left the iron on. It's been right. fifteen seconds, twenty seconds you pick it up. Like there there definitely is the chance that polyester thread will will melt or degrade. Right. We've had actually, actually we iron. we interviewed someone, um her interviews on Friday. Um where she did melt it. She was like, what is happening? Yeah. <laughs> that was her big thing of like, put your iron on the setting for the the thread if it's polyester, not on the cotton setting. Because not on you, the fabric. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah Absolutely. She said that, that did happen and that freaked her out. So, And this one is so, 60. So, uh, Why is the polyester so, 60? So there's that one. So it's thinner. Generally speaking, we use a thinner thread in the bobbin. And if you want to wind your own bobbins, that is a fantastic thread to use. Oh. It's thinner. You get a lot more yardage. It's more cost effective. Yeah. Um, it's also a really good thread to use on top when you're quilting. Yeah. When you want to do dense stitch patterns, micro stippling. Uh, oh. Also good for uh, like invisible machine applique. Interesting. Because it's, it's a thinner thread, so you want it to blend in more with your applique pieces. So oh, I would, so. hands down, use bottom line for that over masterpiece. So you'd use, um, so you use bottom thread over, uh, I'm just going to repeat it, masterpiece if you want to do more invisible applique, if you're doing piecing or you're doing your own bobbin, um, because it's thinner. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So anything where you don't want the, 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 um, the thread to show. Um, go for 60 and, as opposed to 50. Yeah. Got it. Okay. More? See, you sent me more stuff. It's really cool. All right. This one. This one was really – I used this already. This is really good. I love this one. It's really pretty. It's a really pretty thread. This is um, This is Masterpiece. Use top stitch needle 80-20. 100% extra long staple Egyptian cotton grown. We know what that means now. It is a – it says number 50 slash 30. Is that the weight? 50? Is that the weight? 50. Yeah, so it's a, yeah, it's a 50 three-ply. Three-ply. So it, so the bobbin was two-ply. This is three-ply. And it's That's like right. a creamy color. It's really pretty. So you could probably use the bo the white bobbin. Could you use the white bobbin with? I did. I used the white bobbin with the cream. So that seems fine. But I'm not very picky. So uh, so here's the – so let's see if I can see the difference. Okay. So you kind of see – Right, that one's a little. Yeah. This one, this one's more. And fun. there will be a difference. 
Yeah. So that what we did, 